Can racism exist if there are no races? A museum director at the University of Cape Town in South Africa is asserting that race is not real, but racism still exists. Dr. Wendy Black is currently the chief curator of archaeology at Isico Museums of South Africa. Isico Museum is part of the campus of the University of Cape Town. It is a world-renowned landmark for its Southern American plantation-style architecture. Black was interviewed by the ultra-left magazine Counterpunch on February 16, 2024 for an article on museum displays adopting a multicultural outlook. The article written by April Short was titled, How Three New Museums Are Teaching the World About a Paradigm Shift in Our Understanding of Human Origins. Black, quote, We show that race is not real, but racism is, and this is an important lesson many humans need to learn, end quote. Black also attacked white explorers. Quote, we realize that the story of our origins was mostly only told from the point of view of the white explorer, making the content exclusionary for much of the South African public, end quote, says Wendy Black. Famous white explorers in Africa would include Donald Johansson, discoverer of Lucy, Australopithecus afarensis, Osa Johnson, Lee Berger, Jane Goodall, and the Leakey family. Black's anti-Western civilization views are becoming increasingly common in university anthropology departments. In an October 2023 piece at The Conversation, Black's colleague, Cape Town anthropology professor, Rebecca Ackerman accused South Africa's great fossil hunters of being racist and colonialists. Ackerman, quote, human evolution is traditionally told as a story of white male exploration and discovery about Raymond Dart, Robert Broom, Philip Tobias, Lee Berger, and other white men who are associated with important fossil discoveries in the country. Raymond Dart of the University of Witwatersrand discovered the first Australopithecus in 1924. Philip Tobias assisted the Leakeys in the discovery and analysis of both Homo habilis and Heranthropus. Lee Berger led the expeditions at two South Africa sites in the discoveries of both Australopithecus sediba and Homo naledi. It should be noted neither Black nor Ackerman have any fossil discoveries to their credit nor field experience in paleoanthropology. Rather, Ackerman lists on her professional CV as accomplishments promoting transformative equity and diversity. But woke anthropology is not just limited to Ackerman and Black. Professor Lauren Schroeder of the University of Toronto Anthropology Department recently criticized her white male colleagues. Interview, ScienceNews.org 2023. As a black African woman, it was such a lonely place for a long time. Paleoanthropology is so white. The professor boasts at laurenschroederlab.com of being part of Lee Berger's Homo Lady team at Rising Star. Berger is a white male. Also included in her group photo, a legendary white male paleoanthropologist, John Hawks. Race is subspecies, but subspecies don't exist? Philosophy professor Adam Hawkman at Macquire University in Sydney is seeking to eliminate racial classifications altogether. The Conversation 2024, skin color, hair form, and eye shape. This variation is not enough to justify racial classification. Our biological diversity is too small and too smoothly distributed across geographic space for race to be real. 
Continuing, from a scientific perspective, a synonym for race is subspecies in biology. When scientists apply the standard criteria to determine whether there are subspecies races in humans, none are found. Continuing, in chimpanzees, yes, but in humans, no. There are four subspecies of chimpanzees with a population of 250,000. There are 8 billion humans, but no subspecies? Professor Hockman echoes his colleague, Professor Wendy Black, in South Africa. Racism is real in both an interpersonal and a structural sense, but race is not. The human variation deniers offer no explanation on how whites can be racist if races, subspecies, do not exist. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.